oh my gosh, there's a lot of crazy things happening. Good morning, everybody. Welcome or welcome back to my vlog. I'm Jackie. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. So I said, if you watched my last vlog, I said that I would bring you guys on my daily adventures this week because it's moving week. It's Monday, August 31st, and oh my gosh, there's a lot of crazy things happening. Um, actually, today might be kind of boring because I am off, but that's okay. We find fun wherever we can, right? So, currently, I am on my way to uh, one of the high schools in reference about um, cheerleading position. So, um, we're going to meet up and talk about that. Um, probably just come back home and get our lives together. I seriously need to make our... What am I trying to say? Our diagram, like our moving diagram, so that when people are bringing boxes back into the, into the new house, we know, or they're gonna know where to put them. So I have to do that today. Oh, I just feel like I need to do a bunch of things, even though like, I don't know. So once I get home, I'm not gonna lie, like yesterday, I did that. If you saw the vlog, I went to a party with the staff from our cheer gym, and it was so much fun. Like, it was so much fun. I love getting together like that. So yeah, I had that. I was a little tired when I woke up this morning. I will say that. It was fun. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and drive up to the school, and I will see you when I get there. Okay, so I'm actually back home. Um, <laughs> I'm an idiot. Only I'm not really an idiot, but um, I didn't realize that we were meeting on, like, virtually. So I have to go back in and get my computer all set up and find some type of background that's not crazy. Probably gonna go in my son's room, to be honest, because he has a plain wall by his bed that I can just kind of prop myself up on and pull my ring light out so I have decent lighting. So we should be meeting. I actually drove past the new house. I didn't show that, but um, I did notice one of the things that needed to be fixed was one of the screen windows, and it's been fixed. Oh my gosh, it's happening this week. I just can't even believe it, but um, I'm gonna go inside and finally probably drink some coffee and eat something because I haven't had breakfast yet. Um, it's 11.21, so I have about an hour. Well, 45 minutes, almost an hour. Um, until I need to be ready for that meeting. So yeah, let's let's do this. Can everyone see my screen? Oh, sounds a little crazy. I've been kind of like working but relaxing at the same time. Let's just brush this out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I haven't really vlogged that much today. Sorry. It's been kind of like in my room and Tommy's been in meetings all afternoon. So there was my afternoon. But as you can see, I'm in my bathroom right now. It's the only room that I get like good lighting or decent lighting. I'm gonna miss this room a little bit. But um, at this point, I just kind of need to find some energy. I'm really thinking about like making some coffee or drinking something. I need some caffeine. And I got my, so after I had my little interview thing, which if you saw in the one clip, I did get it. Um, so that's exciting. I worked on my vlog. I got that uploaded. It was just taking a really long time to like actually upload to YouTube. Otherwise, it should have been up at like 2, but it didn't get up to like 3. But at least it's up. So that's good. So I just had to work on my thumbnail and all that extra little stuff that comes along with it. So that video is already live. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. It was our vlog from Hershey Park. So definitely go check that out. If you haven't subscribed, you really should. I'm having a lot of fun with this, so I hope you guys are too. But yeah, I don't know what I'm doing for the rest of the night, but I gotta give you guys some more content. But I'm gonna let you know it's like a day-to-day. -day. 
we get what you get. But I think at this point, um, I just kind of need to get some energy and then I'm going to start packing some more stuff. I need to go into DJ's room and kind of finish everything that's in his closet. And I need to set the scene for what's going to take place for the rest of the end of the week. Make sure that there's room for all the extra boxes because there are still some things that need to be packed. Obviously some stuff can't really be packed until more so like the day of or the night before. I did get a couple of like moving plans figured out. I kind of know where I want things to go in the kitchen. I don't know. Everything else? Actually yes. I did start that. I did start to make a list of what's happening each day but I literally just started. There's only a couple things on the list and it's only for Thursday. So I have to kind of like make a timeline of events so I can just know what's happening and when to just make for Saturday when everybody comes over to help pack and load and unload that it's just kind of a seamless process. So we'll see, but I'll take you along for the rest of the night and then we'll just see what I get done. Good morning guys. So it is Tuesday, September 1st. We are in the month of September. How the heck is it September? It was just March. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, this is insane. There's three more months in the year. Y'all, I don't know. I don't know. So I think what I'm going to do is turn this into a weekly vlog instead of a daily vlog. I feel like I'll get more content if it's getting everything throughout the week. So I'm up. I didn't go to sleep until like two something. I just could not sleep. Tommy snoring was so bad. I'm up now. It's like 10 something. I've got some messages to respond back to and honestly, okay. I'm not so big on making sure that the house is clean. However, I would like to get certain cleaning projects done, but you know, honestly, I think I still may not even do that. I think I just, I just want to make sure that the house is still kind of somewhat like, I guess there's no way to really do that. Honestly, nobody will really need to be where like the cleaning needs to be done. We can just get the boxes, you know, put in one area. So my goal for the next two days is to just, again, continue to pack, separate the boxes that are going over on Thursday and Friday. And then, well, I think I mentioned, so the boxes on Thursday will be like the coffee mugs and um, Tommy's stuff. Um, everything that's in both of our cars right now, like beach related, like stuff that just doesn't need to be in our cars, will also go. And then, I don't know, I feel like there's some other stuff that needs to go over there and I just want to make sure that I know where they are so that when things actually start coming over on Friday and Saturday, it's like less of a shock and I know where they are. Um, because even though up here I'm saying like, oh, I know this box needs to be at this place or whatever, like, it needs to go to this room. I still feel like once everything gets in there, I'm going to be like, where's this box? Where's this box? I need this box. So, yes, the box of, like, candles and smell good stuff, that has to go over on Thursday. So that with the coffee mugs, that's, like, major key. So, let me show you. So, really, what I'm looking at here is that... It's, it's just a lot. It's very overwhelming and it's just a lot. <laughs> I just can't, literally. Um, my mom has to empty out the fish tank soon because they need to get ready to go over to the new house. Um, there's no rush, honestly, but there is because <laughs> we have the truck. But um, like we still have this house like till the end of September. So <sighs> over here is the destruction. This is where it's just not organized. We have boxes that we still need to pack. And it looks like at this point we may even need some more. We're definitely going to need some more boxes. But this table isn't being useful right now it's kind of just in the way more than anything so I think I'm going to take it apart which literally it's just so easy because it was never really oh there's stuff on it but it was never really connected so I'm just gonna kind of make it so that it's like broken down and then go ahead and start putting boxes over here like I thought my mom would have did this by now because these things have been empty for the longest time but we need to go through and really like clean and wipe down these china cabinets um and then yeah i got my vacuum out this is usually where we keep it like in the 
like corner over there um, since we didn't have the greatest amount of space and all of our Christmas stuff like all of our decorations are in this closet so couldn't keep the vacuums and all that stuff out of out of eye but yeah I just need to make it so that I can stack boxes this thing actually is a two-piece set it comes apart so last time we moved I don't remember if the glass stayed in there I feel like it didn't so I'm gonna have to take that out and put it somewhere probably in another box and yeah ugh, my mom keeps bringing home like sweets from work stop we don't need to eat this stuff <laughs> but yeah that's pretty much the craziness and yes I still have my 30th birthday balloons up because I just don't want to take them down I'm like contemplating taking them to the new house even though I know they don't need to be there like my birthday is long gone <laughs> So that's where we're at. That's what I want to get done today. And I guess I'll just kind of like let you watch <laughs> as I get things done. At some point we have to eat breakfast. So that's a thing. I don't know. We'll see. The only thing left to do is just get started. Let's do this y'all. It's two more days. Okay. So I have my iced coffee that I just made. I made my whipped coffee. It is so good. You guys, it's time to get started. I also kind of really need to make sure I eat breakfast. Don't let me forget to eat breakfast. You know, when you start adulting, and you just forget to take care of yourself. That's kind of me right now. It's kind of been me all month. It is what it is. <laughs> I just have so much to do. Oh my gosh. And I feel like I need to like work in my planner. I need to like, I should have did this yesterday. I was kind of doing it and then I just kind of wasn't like, I didn't actually write in my planner, but I just have so much to do in the next couple days. Also, our apartment place is trying to send us like a certified letter. I don't know what about because we've already been in contact about certain things, but whatever. So we keep missing them. So... I don't know, I guess at some point I need to go to the to the post office to see if it's theirs, I can pick it up. I have no idea. I don't know, they keep missing us, so. If they knock hard enough, I don't think they've knocked. Like, my mom was here all day yesterday, I was here. I don't understand, but let's get started. Alright, so let me tell you why I'm so irritated and pissed off. Okay, so... As you can see, I have made some progress. The table is no longer like set up in the floor. I've dusted, like wiped out this whole curio. Um, I still have to wipe that out, the china cabinet, but table has been taken apart and just kind of pushed to the side um, and cleaned off and everything. And then I've began to stack boxes where the table was essentially um, and then I've just I'm like vacuuming by section <laughs> as I can get things cleared out I've set up some boxes so that I can begin to put things in them I've got a trash bag at the door ready to go which I'm getting ready to also have another one that's gonna need to go out soon and just yeah I'm just putting X's with tape because these will be the boxes that we bring on Thursday to the house we're gonna I've probably said this a thousand times, but we're gonna pack um, the car with certain things that have to go over on Thursday because we just wanna make sure that they get there in a safe manner. I gotta do some more in the kitchen, but I'm, I'm making a lot of progress. I'm making more progress than I probably have made in a long time, but it's fine. I'm pissed off because... <laughs> like getting hungry I'm like I need food I need something but I'm not trying to like cook like I don't have time to cook well at this point I might as well as just like found something to cook because I ordered Chipotle I had a reward so I went ahead and ordered a bowl with a blackberry Izzy because that's like my favorite drink from Chipotle what so this was around like one o'clock it's supposed to be delivered by 124 I got a message saying well no I didn't get a message it was going on like 134 and I was like, okay, where's my food? So I went back into my phone and it said that the order was canceled. I get, I think it'll probably still show you. And I'm like, sorry, I tripped. I'm like, try, yeah, right here. There we go. This order has been canceled. Pretty pissed. I tried to call the store to see if it was at least still there to be like, okay, if the driver hasn't picked it up, like I'll just come pick it up. I've already paid for it at this point. Um never got a hold of the store it rang 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 finally went to voicemail and then i'm almost wondering if i should like look outside my door so anyways then i called chipotle or i called doordash because that's who was supposed to be delivering the food well they couldn't find my order and to them it's like oh i haven't ordered anything since april and i'm like what do you mean like i've had to call y'all multiple times throughout the last couple of months don't tell me i haven't ordered anything since april 
and then he tries to send me over to a Chipotle analyst, somebody who like specializes in the Chipotle orders, I guess. Waited, 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 went to voicemail. So I'm like, okay. I call Chipotle again, nothing. Ring, 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 ring. So now I'm about to go have an attitude. I, I'm a, let me check outside the door just in case. Yep, just as I suspected, no food. So now I have to stop what I'm doing to go waste time and I'm gonna screenshot my order just so that they can see it. I don't even know, like, I'm very annoyed. But yeah, and I was watching Grey's. Like I have Grey's on the TV. Like I've, I'm have i I'm all caught up. I've seen every single episode, but I definitely wanna just go back and watch it. It'll be something good for me to have one in the background because I've already seen it while I'm packing and then once I get to the new house while I'm unpacking so but I'm just irritated that I have to take time out of my day now to now go up there and get my food so I guess I'll bring you along it's also one of those things it's where it's like I haven't had to put a bra on all morning and now I have to put one on so I'm very irritated but <laughs> let's go get lunch all right we are in the car I almost don't care what I look like right now because I'm hungry and I want my food. Also, getting in Tommy's car right now um, just reminds me that we have so much to do. Oh my gosh, I need this to be his job today. I need this to be a part of his life. So, it's Tuesday, I have practice. Um, so I'm really gonna have to stop doing stuff at least by like 4.50. Um, just so I can make sure I'll, like I'm put together and I can get ready to leave. Um, just kind of freshen up. And then, I don't know. Um, my mom has my car. I'm not sure what time she's off. I didn't even look. Kind of hoping it's like a nine to five deal. people around here man I I can't wait to be out of this neighborhood I can't like explain it any more than that I just really like oh I don't know just like the driving decision the, the just the decisions like it's not like a bad neighborhood or anything like that but it's just people don't know how to drive and I'm tired of always having to like fight for parking I finally will have my own designated parking spot now. That is life. And it's in front of my house. I don't have to walk a thousand years just to get to the house when we have groceries or heavy boxes or things like that. We don't have to like park, like pull up in front of the building just to take things out of the car, just to put it, you know, get back in the car and, you know, park. So it's gonna be nice. I'm very excited things I am going to miss about my complex is just the cute little duckies that they have. They have like a little pond. I mean, it was cool. Um, that was like up by where the bus stop is. So obviously for DJ, that's something he always liked to go over there and play with the ducks. And I want to say that I'm going to miss the pool because we have a pool in our community. It hasn't opened all summer. Um, so it's not like I'm gonna be missing anything like when I get there because nobody's been able to get in the pool. So, but we do have a pool. I'm not sure what the whole like, I'm hoping I'll be able to have like guests. See, the way they did it at my apartment complex was that you had to, I think you could have like one guest per person. So still, it wasn't like you could really bring a lot of people. It just kind of wasn't the best, but whatever. Um, it had a tennis court, didn't really go on. It had a basketball court. I mean, we went there a couple times. That stuff was mainly just to take DJ and let him get on his bike. But I mean, now we have like sidewalks and neighborhood to be in and walk around. So um, we're not really losing much. I'm glad that I actually have a backyard um, to, DJ can literally go outside in the backyard and play. I can be on the patio with him or up on the deck. Um, like he can come outside and it's just more accessible. 
our patio backyard right now in the apartment we face the trees we face the woods there's no view there's it's always muddy back there it's like a part of the complex where it's just in a wooded area and every time it rains it like oh it's just so muddy everything on on the patio gets muddy like i have to clean off our i don't know if you can hear me with the windows but i have to clean off our patio furniture like that's on my to-do list and it's not like we have a hose hookup so i'm probably going to have to bring it in the shower just to get it like you know real cleaned the chairs are brown and i low key want to paint them so that they're a different color i don't know what color but just to freshen them up a little bit and then yeah so it's just like you can't even go and sit out on your own patio and enjoy it meanwhile a lot of the other patios around the complex like they have a good there they have grass like even in our front what we've been here five years going on six or would have been six years in December and what is going on? I have no idea. Cars are slowing down, stopping. Okay. Okay. Is there an accident? I have no idea. I probably shouldn't be on my camera. Wow, there's a lot going on here. any of that because I also didn't want to get in trouble for driving with a camera in my hand so I'm gonna have to look back and see if I got that but I, I don't under I don't know I just couldn't tell ya um, oh there's a poor dead deer on the side of the road what is going on okay I don't even know but um yeah so lots of things to look forward to with this house um, are we leaving behind memories? Yes, but they will outweigh being at the new house. So. Pulling a bunch of pole right now. I'm over here like, do I stay calm? I just want my damn food. I am hungry. I don't know what else to say. I'm just literally like all month. This is like the time I eat breakfast. It's two o'clock. It's two thirteen right now. So there's that. Alright, let me get in here and get my food. I'll see you in a minute. Alright, y'all. I didn't have to go psycho on anybody. Um, My food was actually still there. They didn't have any Blackberry Izzy's. So you know I would have gotten mad because it always happens. I always order and sometimes I don't get my drink and I'm like, I paid for my drink. You can't see me. Sorry. Um, But yeah, so they gave me another drink. I got to just pick one for free. So... That's fine. I, you know what? And at this point, like, do I wish it was fresh? Yes, but considering the fact that it was, it wasn't even picked up. I'm not even mad. If you see me trying to back out, why would you proceed to keep walking? All right, y'all. I'm gonna get home, stuff my face, so you can't even see me, and I apologize. But I'm gonna get home and stuff my face so that I can finish packing, so we can move our lives across town. It's not even across town. It's literally ten minutes away. <laughs> All right, y'all. We going home. All right, I am home. Eating my Chipotle. First bite. Mm. That's good. This is totally gonna be life for a while. You know, eating off of boxes and. I want you to listen to me very carefully. I can do what it is. As long as I'm with my also, doctors, this was like the replacement of my hospital. You are my eyes they gave today. me since they were out of my ears. Ears. So I want you to be a sponge. A sponge? You report any and everything happening in this hospital to me. I'm an investigative sponge. I'm not fooling around with That's that. Good. There's too much been happening lately. All right, y'all. We've reached another step in the process. Any little words every home buyer wants to hear. Clear to close. This means your mortgage has been fully approved and final documents are ready to be prepared. Barring any unforeseen changes, you'll be at the closing table very soon. You'll receive word on final scheduling. Meanwhile, loosen up your fingers and get ready to sign. 
Before your closing, okay, please okay. be on the lookout for a closing disclosure form. It will confirm the terms and costs of your loan. Okay, so please you. review this carefully. Let us know if you have any questions, and then get ready for what should be a smooth closing to follow. Your final destination is now in view. Thank you for letting us help you along the way. If you have questions or know anyone in need of a lift toward their own new home, reach out and we'll be happy to assist. All right, so we have made a lot of progress and I'm very excited. I feel weight being lifted off my shoulders because you're crooked. Let me fix you. There you go. I feel just the weight just coming off my shoulders just because things are organized. Like things were just in complete chaos and I just could like my mind up here couldn't take it um but this is what we have going so far um i'm really liking it everybody can just come in grab a box and go so this won't be here on saturday this is all the stuff that's going over on thursday and this stuff will obviously come over between friday and saturday um so luckily this stuff will make room for this to come out, which like I said earlier, it's like a two piece set, so shouldn't have too much trouble. We've cleaned this out and this is literally just Christmas boxes, obviously. Um, but then that's all cleaned out. And here is just kind of a mixture of things. Stuff that will be going in the living room and kitchen everywhere. I think my mom's stuff's over there too, so we're making moves. We are surely making moves. It is 4:57, and I have to get ready for practice. Um, when I come home tonight, I'm gonna have to try to get some laundry done. Hopefully, I can stay awake long enough to, to do that. And then, yeah, moving right along. So I feel, I feel good. It's happening. But yeah, I'm gonna get ready to go to practice. I may take you there. May not. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But it's time to get ready. You guys, what is up? Good morning. Sorry, my voice sounds like crap, but it is September 2nd. It's Wednesday, the day before closing. Oh my gosh. We have a lot of stuff to do today. I gotta make sure I have a fresh battery in here because it's going to die. <laughs> I mean, it's been doing pretty good considering all that I've filmed. I'm sorry I kind of left you hanging yesterday. We had practice. Practice was okay. And we came home. Well, I stopped and got food on the way home and then I actually packed some more just to kind of make my day a little bit easier today. For the most part, I really just need to get laundry started and some cleaning done. Um, from what I can clean, the bathrooms should be a good cleaning start today. So that way, I'm gonna try to say. I can't really do like carpets and stuff like that until the boxes are kind of gone and everything is kind of moved out. So I just, I do know that's like, uh, gotta wait till this. So probably like, I don't know, I haven't set a date, I need to write my planner, I need to, that's actually kind of like what I need to do today is write my planner because I haven't done that for the last couple days. So like my room is a a lot, haven't had caffeine yet. So my room is a lot cleaner, it's a, like everything is just kind of organized. So I took down my desk, I got everything off my desk off my nightstand just a little couple of essentials that will go over on Thursday yeah so right now I'm kind of like starving it's I've been up for like an hour but I haven't like got up it's like 10 13 so I'm going to figure out breakfast and get some coffee and get rolling for the day today I have to take DJ to go pick up his materials from school he's going to get to meet his teacher and then we have to go to Verizon to pick up our internet router it's supposed to be delivered I don't know I have a screenshot of what the order was supposed to be what the order is now just kind of doesn't make sense so it was supposed to be delivered to this house now I have to go pick it up for whatever reason um, so we need to pick that up I have to go to the post office because our um, leasing office has been trying to send us a certified letter. I have no idea what it's about or what it says. I need to run by the bank. I don't know. I have lots to do today. I have to go to Target or 
probably home food packaging or somewhere for home stuff to get a couple things so and then i have practice tonight it's my last day of practice for the week also the vlog will be ending tonight because tomorrow we start the next vlog closing day <laughs> settlement day so um let's just get the ball rolling okay guys it's a little bit later now i got my coffee story time went all the way to the one that's like closest to my house and they're like doing construction so I had to drive to the one that was just like a mile up the road but I got it it's my first pumpkin iced coffee of the year good um I don't know what's going on with my hair this is the messy bun that Tommy gave me I can't see what it looks like but yeah I got these chairs sparkling clean now so we're not moving like dirty chairs I had to like wash them here in the tub it's like all the dirt that came off of it I gotta get some Drano so I can uh, get this stuff going down but so I am about to just get me and DJ ready to do those errands that I talked about I'm gonna take you with me hopefully we can just get them all done without any issues but we'll see let you, you guys will like be right there so <sighs> kind of wishing I would have got up a little earlier though like I was awake but I wish I would have got like up up I've got towels in the dryer so I gotta get those out soon and then <sighs> fold those to take them but I'm gonna get ready to go to DJ school now so let's get ready I'm probably gonna look like a bum like all day though so there's that. Like, I was totally gonna like shower before we went to his school, but there's no point because I'm gonna be running in and out, so probably just shower before practice. Might as well, right? Let's go. Okay, so funny thing just happened. I didn't change my clothes at all. I probably smell sweaty. Let's see. No, I smell okay. Um, <laughs> I didn't change at all. I just got him dressed and we are here at his school I don't know if you can see it back there we're getting ready to get out of the car and I realized I legit still have on my slippers what is going on like I oh my gosh I'm like yelling at him to get himself ready and I didn't even get myself ready and I knew I had to take off I knew I had to put on regular flip-flops I am just like stunned and I'm like mortified that I'm about to go in his school like this and it's just like I'm not going back to the house I'm I'm literally not about to go back to that I might have to though because I do have to make other stops but oh my god this is such a waste of my time I don't know let's just get in there and get out <laughs> yeah let's go okay so let me give you guys a little update um I have on my flip-flops I dropped off my slippers and my child with uh, my mom and Tommy back at the house um, just so I could just be a little bit more proficient and get some things done while I'm just running in and out you know a little one always can slow you down and I just have to make sure that I'm back at the house in time to make sure that I'm getting ready for practice so I came up to T-Mobile for two things if you're a T-Mobile customer you can do like T-Mobile Tuesdays, they, every Tuesday they have little offers that you can get and save. And I saved the one for a free face mask. Mind you, once you save the offers, you have like X amount of time to redeem them. So I'm like, like you have to save the offer on that, but like I said, you have extra amount of time to redeem them. So I was gonna go redeem the offer that I saved yesterday. Um, yesterday the offer was for a free face mask. So I was like, yeah, I'm coming to, redeem my t-mobile tuesday thing and we only do that on tuesdays well i know that but i'm coming to redeem it i i was just like i just took a second and i was like okay whatever other than that i just came to get my screen let's get some lighting kind of sucks right now sorry i got my screen fixed so we are no more cracked screen if you can see off that reflection i had like cracked screen and then like bubbles from the cracks i guess uh, but now it actually looks like a real phone again so, ooh, and I almost dropped it again there we go all right yeah so I got that fixed and now I'm at the mall to see if the T-Mobile in there has any more face masks I'm only going like being extra about it because it's a free face mask like it's a face mask that I didn't have to purchase duh it's free I have to wear it anyway so if I can get one for free hey why not 
So I'm just gonna run in there. If they don't, then fine. I'm gonna go ahead and run over to Target after that to get a broom. And I think I need something else, but I might check another store for that specific thing. I think I wanted to get like, see how much like a set of like mats for the bathroom. I might go to like my, uh, can't even talk Marshalls. Um, I've already been in TJ Maxx, so I might hit up Marshalls. And I, I went in Home Goods, but I didn't really look, so I might go back in there. We'll see. But otherwise, oh, so in Target, I need to get a broom and some like cleaning wipes. I need to see what kind of lace supplies they have. If they have the wipes, then great. If they don't, whatever. That's really all I went in there for, so that's fine. Um, and then after that, I should be able to head home. No, I need to go to Verizon on my way home. So after I leave the area that I'm in, I'm gonna go to Target, and then Marshalls is kind of like in that same vicinity of where the Verizon store is, so we should be good. Hopefully I'll be able to pick up my router. The router was supposed to be delivered to the house. It never was. I don't know, I just want the router so we can set it up on Friday. Anyways, let me get in here and not waste any more time so that we can get some things done, and I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so, oh, sorry. T-Mobile was a success. Not only did I get one, but I got two. Where'd the other one go? Something for. I got two face masks and it just has the little T-Mobile symbol on like the corner of it. They didn't, she didn't, she was like, of course, like they had plenty. Like, of course, nobody comes to the mall or at least the specific mall that I have by my house. Nobody really goes in there. So that's like usually always my spot where I can go get the T-Mobile Tuesdays from. So that's cool. But yeah, she didn't even scan it. So that was great. Like essentially I could go back to another T-Mobile and get more, but I'm not going to be that one. Just and then I was going to get you guys when I got out of there, but my mom called. So I was talking on the phone with her for a little bit and while I ran into Target, I kind of was like scatterbrained because I was talking to her and I was like, wait, what did I even come into Target for? Like I totally forgot. So I just got some more cleaning supplies and I'll do like a quick little haul with you real quick. I just got some magic erasers to um, clean down the walls at the current house. It's just easier, like I don't have to worry about like all these extra cleaners and taking the paint off, whatever, blah, blah, blah. They worked pretty well to get the any little scuffs off, so that's fine. I got some carpet refresh so that I can vacuum the carpets and it'll smell nice and fresh in the new house as well as the old house. I'm probably gonna try to take the vacuum over to the house tomorrow. I really cannot wait to get a new vacuum. Like, oh my gosh, this vacuum, you buy cheap, you get cheap. That's what I have to say sometimes. Like with certain products, like, I mean, I don't know. Hopefully it should be good, but whatever. I got some more multi-surface spray. I, I have some, but it's like bleach in it and I just wanna make sure that I can wipe certain things with it. So I just got a natural cleaner, the mum scent. It smells so good. Get you a Myers mum scent. Um, and then I just got some Drano, kind of like a just in case item, but I really got it to, as you guys saw when I was cleaning out the chairs in the bathroom, I just wanna make sure that all that stuff goes down into the drain properly. And then I had like a credit thing on my Target Circle and I just went ahead and used it because I'm just trying to save money right now. I usually like to save those up until, you know, there's like decent amount of money on there to apply to a purchase, but it's fine. Took a dollar off, so all of that I got for like 12 bucks, essentially. But I'm gonna go to Verizon now. It's like three o'clock. I have an hour and a half left to be out of the house. So let's try to hit up Verizon. We're gonna go in Marshalls and see if, they don't really have any good brooms in Target right now. Like they were out for whatever reason. So I'm either gonna look in Marshalls and see if they have a broom or I'm gonna go to like Walmart or Target, the one that's closer to my house and see if they have any there. They should hopefully. But otherwise I'm gonna see if they have the bath mats in Marshalls and Hopefully we can just go home after that. So we'll see. Fingers crossed. Also, I would take you in these stores and I don't even know why I'm not, to be honest. I do know this specific Target that I was in is like super busy all of the time. So there's that. Oh my gosh, just nobody wants to let me come out of my parking spot. Kind of irritated. Like the mall, I definitely probably could have took you in there because there's like nobody in there. But not that I have an issue with vlogging in public, but I'm definitely still getting used to it. I also hope that the music in the background is not like bothering you guys. Because it was bothering me. <laughs> I couldn't, I felt like I was talking over the music and it's not even that loud. But yeah, so yeah, that's the plan. So sorry I'm not taking you in the stores. And I would totally you know, film on my phone. I don't have a problem with that. My issue recently has been the fact that when I transfer videos from my phone to the laptop, to my Mac, and then put them into iMovie, 
I don't know if I need to update the, uh, the iMovie app, but every time I upload a video from my phone onto the Mac and then onto iMovie, the audio shows up, but not the picture. I don't know how to fix it and it's pissing me off. Like for some things, I feel like I'm missing really good clips because I can't, it just won't show up. I don't, I just don't know how to fix it. So if you guys know how to fix that, please reach out and let me know. I would really love to like use as much content as I can when I'm editing my vlogs, but sometimes it's, or recently it just hasn't been possible. Never had the issue before, but now all of a sudden. So help a sister out. Be a real one and help me out. All right, next stop, Verizon. All right, that was quick. Back in the car. So here's the deal with Verizon. So I can't pick it up from this specific location. I have to go to another one, which is about 20 minutes away from my current little city where I live in. I have to travel to another little city. So I'm contemplating to have us pick it up tomorrow honestly either i can just get up and get it in the morning before we have to go do everything which actually i probably shouldn't do that but we'll be like we already have to go up close like kind of close to that area tomorrow when we go for the actual closing process so oh i guess i could have went it's because i'm vlogging while driving honestly i may just pick it up tomorrow before we get to the house i'm just like chopping it up as a lost cause at this point it's not that serious at least we'll have it tomorrow and then you know set it up for friday or whatever so that's gonna be the plan because i'm not running and ripping and running all around the county just i'm just not doing it today i'm gonna go into marshall see if they got what i'm looking for and then i'm gonna head home so i can finish doing a little bit of whatever i can do and shower and get ready for practice maybe i'll take you to practice i keep saying i'm gonna take you guys to practice but i'm just i have to do it on the right day so uh we'll see but because i'm not ending the vlog just yet i can't i can't end it until tonight so whether i actually take you into practice or not and again if i can figure out how to get the clip from my phone then yes i'll do it but i just haven't really brought my camera in there but i might start doing it like to record our full out routines anyways so we'll see okay so i just got out of marshall's super excited because why am i excited they finally had their fall decor in there they didn't have it like for a long time it's all started no oh yeah baby oh yeah Nope. Yeah. Nope. But we have a list of things to start watching on Netflix together, so uh, maybe we you just had, you may did had a list. <laughs> maybe we All just right, great, <laughs> maybe we just need to start fresh with a new show and then uh, yeah. Oh, brand new. <laughs> new Canada list. I don't like this at all. This is stupid. What's stupid? Some guy, RIPR, told us to make an event to have the established risk for events, and our sales guy put together this event file that just does not look cool at all like i don't know it's just, it just doesn't work you know what i mean okay i had to call my boss to go through it okay well i'm just sitting yeah. here so um i'm gonna get off the phone now so i can come inside okay bye 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 Bye. Bye. Hey guys, future Jackie here, just editing this vlog since I forgot to make an outro for it. I just wanted to hop on here and say make sure that you guys subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos from me. Be sure to go follow me on my Instagram at TheRealJackie325. And I'll see you guys on the next one when it's closing day. Make sure that you be safe, be well, and be real. Bye, guys.